Hi folks, Steve here at Boss Trailers. Today we're going to take a closer look at not just one, but two trailers the same video. So we're looking at a Micro Mini from Winnebago, model 1700BH. It's a family unit. It's uh, the smallest family unit Winnebago makes uh, in the Micro Mini line. And we're also going to be taking a look at the 1800BH. Both trailers do not have a slide out. The 17s on single axle, the 18 on tandem axle. A couple little difference inside. So we're going to tour the 1700 on the outside and inside, and then we'll go in to peek at the 1800 on the inside. So let's start with the 1700. 3,320 pounds. It is 20 foot 9 inch. That's including the tom. So uh, the Micro Mini, awesome product. 7 foot wide, uh, very narrow in trailer manufacturing. Uh, got tons and tons of very interesting features and so that's what we're going to be uh, taking a look at and we'll start right away because I don't want this video to be 20 minutes so uh, at the front we have an electric tongue jack that's where your propane tank goes in the back we'll have a battery box and a battery stone guard beautiful front cap on the side here we have our pass-through storage goes all the way to the other side and underneath the bed at the front there is a connection for an extra solar panel and I mean extra because there's already one on the roof it's 190 watts and it's connected to a 30 amp charge controller so doesn't get any better than that in fact 190 watts is the biggest I have seen in the industry as a standard feature outside shower with hot and cold you see the water connection right here your water heater runs on gas and electrical we have uh, we have off-road tires on aluminum wheels, 15 inch. Now both trailers have bunk bed in the back and they have the same, the, the back is identical and the front is identical. The only difference is really the middle part. So we'll take a look at this bed right here. Two bunks, the bottom one lifts up, gives you access uh, or a bigger storage to put the kids bike or some of the bigger things you may want to take with you. Extra tables or screen room. Detachable power cord, it's ready for cable and satellite connection if you decide to bring a satellite dish. There is a roof ladder that's there to help you inspect your caulking and do touch up as needed. Uh, it's ready for a backup camera. There is a two inch receiver hitch in the back of it already, standard build. It's perfect for a bike rack. Your spare tire is back here. All exterior lights and interior lights are LED. The Micro Mini line comes with electric jacks with individual switch and motors. So four switch, four motors, four jacks. And the extra one at the front that's an electrical as well. So that gives you five all together. There is rain gutters and spout extension. We have a beautiful electric awning with LED lights. We have outside speakers. Coming back down, we have our black tank flush to help you clean the black tank. There is a cable connection and a power outlet if you decide to put a little TV out there. Your city water fresh connects, so you have, that's your tank, to fill up your tank. And we have a spray port that connects into your cold water system. Foldable pantry handle, traditional steps. Uh, the window door already have the pleated shades. As a rule, it's not there, folks. So they actually put it there. Nobody really see that, but it's there. It's kind of nice. Our switches for the front motor access um, by the way those handles are incredible they're metal same that they use on their motorized some of their motorized stuff so and look at the thickness of the door it's not warping and there's an incorporated magnetic holder and here on the wall we're gonna see well, let's turn on the light we're gonna see our charge controller and on here there's a, a, a docking system for a wireless uh, a uh, tire pressure monitoring system. So it's there if you choose to uh, install it. It's parts that are available to our parts store. On the interior, now let's keep in mind folks, this is a trailer that's not even 21 foot. And it's seven foot wide. So we have a double bed at the front, pleated shades on all the windows. There's a power outlet and a USB outlet in the corner. Lots of storage above. The hinge holds the door up. It's very deep. You can put a lot of stuff. And there's also access under the bed at the front here. The dinette 
So on this smaller side, we gotta keep in mind we got a foot less than a traditional trailer, so this is the area that gets compromised, I guess. So, you know, as a rule, those trailers, most of my campers, most of our buyers are going to be doing a lot of outdoor camping. The trailer is a place where they go in to sleep and use the facility. So the dinette is not an area that is a, a problem, but it is here, it converts into an extra sleeping arrangement. And the table is actually on a new uh, gas or hydraulic system for the table. So you, there's a little lever underneath, you flip the lever, the table will go down. It, it, uh, it uh, takes away those legs that are on the floor where your, uh, where your own legs will always hit. Uh, kitchen wise, our fridge is under mounted. That's going to be one of the difference with the 1800. We'll take a look at that later. So a fairly decent sized fridge. There is a freezer as well. Just not as big as the other one. Uh, single sink. Two burner stove. You do get an oven. It is a convection microwave oven. It does grill and microwave. Uh, there's a window, there's a TV. It's connected already to your new GBL uh, Bluetooth system. There's a place to charge your phone. At the end of the cabinet, we have our monitor panel to check your water levels, uh, your awning switch, as well as some of the light switch. A little bit of storage above. In fact, you put a shelf in here and there's probably enough room for all the dishes you need to go camping. There is a little bit more underneath, so there won't be an issue here with uh, pots and pans or anything like that. There's an extra cabinet right here with some shelf. Right below we have a furnace or a converter. Uh, we talked about access underneath the dinette bench on both sides. A little bit of storage above. Interior speaker as well. There's a power outlet and a USB outlet. And then there are bunks, 28 foot, uh, 28 foot, <laughs> 28 inch wide, almost uh, half of a queen size at home, 250 pounds capacity. There's a USB outlet and a light on the on the top and on the bottom. It's just at the end, and we have access. So they put a uh, a bungee mesh if you want, uh, so you have access to some of the storage underneath if you need to. The bathrooms at the back. We have a foot flush toilet and a 36 by 24 shower with the shower liner, the skylight, skylight. There's a power fan as well. Hooks on the door, hooks on the wall for your towels. Very small trailer, folks. We talked about that. Seven foot wide, 20 foot, nine inch. We're going to add 15 inch to this trailer. We're going to bring you in the 1800 BH. Let's take a look. The exterior has the identical equipment. Nothing has changed except for the extra axle. Everything else remains the same. The equipment on the roof, the jacks, the backup camera ready. Absolutely everything is identical. Even your city water fill and your spray port, same thing. On the inside though, fronts remain the same. Same bed, same dinette. Kitchen about the same, but we fall into a single bowl farmer style stainless steel sink. Deep, pretty deep, with sink cover. And a three burner stove. We get the same convection microwave, but we gain a drawer for your uh, pots and pans. This cabinet is basically the 15 inch. That wasn't there in the 1700. So they did decide to put a bar on there with a removable shelf if you want. And shelf on the bottom. Now, in the 1700, the fridge was right here in the corner, under the counter. In this one, it's right here. This is actually a 10 cubic foot. It's over twice the size of the 1700. The back, I'll let you peek. The toilet and shower is identical. Now, folks, the weight on this is just a little shy of 3,800 pounds, so there is almost 500 pounds between the two. 
33.20, 37 and some change. So that is considerable. And going up from the single axle to the tandem axle in the same floor plan, so the 1700 to the 1800, you're gonna have about $6,500 Canadian difference between the two trailers. So uh, it's a question that you need to uh, answer for yourself. Folks, I hope you enjoyed uh, the video. Um, I think we've done it. Thanks for watching.